Mr. President, um, when you were sitting down uh, in the Oval Office with President Trump, who uh, ran on not wanting to be the policeman for the world, uh, what kind of arguments did you make to convince him to continue a military uh, presence for the U.S. in your country? And what arguments did you make to him? How receptive was he? I can't understand what you mean by United States presence in my country. They send a training team based on their experiences to train our officers at some of our training institutions and move to the crisis area to see how those they train are performing. I think this is one of the best things the United States could do for us to stabilize the country. And he agreed with that? I do, very much so. That's why I thank him for it. Thank you. Well, we more and more are, because it, it's a very fair question, we more and more are not wanting to be the policemen of the world. And we're spending tremendous amounts of money for decades on policing the world, and that shouldn't be our priority. We want to police ourselves, and we want to rebuild our country. And the president understands that, and they've come a long way. They're doing a great job. We're contributing to that job, but they have done a great job. What we do want to do, though, is open Nigeria and other countries up to trade because we have spent over the last decade a number that's so large you wouldn't even believe it. And I think we'll be treated in a reciprocal fashion now as of today. So I think that's going to happen. And I have great respect for the president, okay? How about uh, Jordan Fabian? Where's Jordan? Jordan, the Hill. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I want to ask you about Iran. The Israeli Prime Minister just gave a speech, uh, very critical of their nuclear program. I want to ask if you have made your mind to pull out of that deal, and if you do pull out of that deal, do you think are you worried that it sends the wrong message to North Korea as you seek to enter nuclear talks with uh, Kim Jong Un? No, I think it sends the right message. You know, in seven years, that deal will have expired, and Iran is free to go ahead and create nuclear weapons. That's not acceptable. Seven years is tomorrow. That's not acceptable. So no, if anything, it's proven right what Israel has done today with the news conference. And Prime Minister Netanyahu just gave a very, I don't know if everybody's seen it, but I got to see a little bit of it. And uh, that is just not an acceptable situation. And I've been saying that's happening. They're not sitting back idly. They're setting off missiles which they say are for television purposes. I don't think so. So we'll see what happens. I, I'm not telling you what I'm doing, but a lot of people think they know. And on or before the 12th, we'll make a decision. That doesn't mean we won't negotiate a real agreement. You know, this is an agreement that wasn't approved by too many people. And it's a horrible agreement for the United States, including the fact, Mr. President, that we gave Iran $150 billion and $1.8 billion in cash. Nigeria would like some of that. 1.8 billion in cash and 150 billion dollars. You know what we got? We got nothing. We got nothing. So that doesn't mean I wouldn't negotiate a new agreement. We'll see what happens. But uh, I think if anything, what's happening today and what's happened over the last little while and what we've learned has really shown that I've been 100 percent right. And Pre President Buhari, um, I want to ask you, you're the first leader from Sub-Saharan Africa to visit President Trump here at the White House. Um, did you address his reported comments from earlier this year when he reportedly used vulgar language to describe uh, African nations? Well, um, I'm very careful with what uh, the press says about others and myself. Um, I'm not sure about uh, you know, the validity or whether that uh, allegation against the president was true or not. So the best thing for me is to keep quiet. We didn't discuss it. <laughs> and you do have some countries that are in very bad shape and very tough places to live in. But we didn't discuss it because the president knows me and he knows where I'm coming from. And I appreciate that. We did not discuss it. Mr. President, you can ask a question. Yes, that lady is already up, yes. Thank you, Mr. President. My name is Juliana. Um, Mr. President Trump, I would like to know, mm -hmm. Nigeria is in their need of the Tucano uh, aircraft to tackle 
uh, the problem back home. Will you be uh, kind enough to release at least two before 2020 to enable the country to tackle the situation in the country? And how soon will you be visiting Nigeria? Well, I would like to visit Nigeria. I'd like very much to visit Nigeria. It's, uh, it's an amazing country, and in, in certain ways, I hear from the standpoint of the beauty of a country, there's no country more beautiful. So I would like to. And the first part of your question, I couldn't hear what you were saying. Go ahead. The helicopters. Oh, helicopters. Yes. Oh, we love helicopters. He <laughs> likes them more than I do. He likes buying helicopters, but he is, uh, and they're buying a lot of helicopters. Helicopters. We want to know how soon we're we'll releasing them to the country. Yes, very soon. We're getting it approved. Part of the problem was that you weren't allowed to buy helicopters in our country, and now you are. I worked that out so that now you can buy the helicopters that you want. They weren't allowed to buy the helicopters in our country for various reasons, which frankly were not good reasons. But now they get them and they get them very quickly and they are the best helicopters anywhere in the world. We make the best military equipment in the world. And our friends can now buy that equipment. Mr. President. Thank you very much. Did you have a question for the President? President Trump. Uh, my question is to President Trump. Thank you. <laughs> the fight against uh, corruption is one of the major achievements that the Nigerian government has presented to the world. And the records show that uh, United States of America is one of the major destination countries of illicit funds and assets from Nigeria. To what extent did you discuss the need to repatriate these funds back to Nigeria to fund critical infrastructure, to cut down funding for terrorism? and uh, also to reduce the uh, illegal immigration from Nigeria to your country. Yes, we have actually discussed all of those topics at length over the last period of time. And uh, in terms of corruption, Nigeria has a reputation, as you understand very well, for very massive corruption. I also know that the president has been able to cut that down very substantially. Uh, we talked about it. He is working on it. and. They have made a lot of progress, and I think they will continue to make a lot of progress. Uh, we have a lot of people in this country, and frankly, the country itself, that invests in Nigeria. So cutting down on that corruption element and a corrupt element is very important to us. And the president will be able to do that. President? To president. president Buhari. To President Buhari, the United States import of uh, crude oil from Nigeria has considerably gone down. Did you discuss the need for the U.S. to increase its uh, import of crude oil from Nigeria? No, I can't tell uh, the United States what to do. But uh, luckily for us, uh, we have got market for our crude uh, oil elsewhere. But uh, the uh, progress made by United States in technology is largely is certainly frightening for us such a, a, a mono economy. I hope technology will allow them to use our crude for its quality for petrochemicals, be it light one, vis a vis the one they are getting from Shell. Thank you. I think maybe more than anything else, what we discussed today was our agricultural products going into. Nigeria, which Nigeria wants, but we have certain barriers that don't allow that to happen. So for the good of our farmers, U.S. farmers, and for the good of Nigeria and all of Africa, it's very important that we are able to sell our great agricultural product, products into Nigeria, and that will happen, and we're going to be working on that right away, okay? Thank you all very much. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. <laughs>